Hello and welcome to the first of the Bluebird updates here at Not So Hollow Farm. My name is Kyle. I work here at Not So Hollow Farm and we grow a whole bunch of trees, shrubs, and perennials. And I mean we have a lot. So we've also decided that we wanna we wanna help out the birds by providing them a place for a home. So we wanna put out a bunch more nest boxes and we wanted to include all of you. So thanks for joining me, all the schools involved. I will do an official video announcing everyone involved once I get each painted nest box back. So we have 43 acres, which is a lot of property. And I'm gonna need a little help setting up these nest boxes. I need some wheels to get around. So let me introduce you to Artie. Artie is our faithful RTV. Artie McOrange is his official name. And he's gonna help me bring out these boxes. So I'm gonna load Artie up and let's get going. Alright, so let's go scout out a couple locations for where we can put these nest boxes in the fields around our property. Let's go. Super, super bright. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. Have made it out to the first location that I have picked for two bluebird nest boxes. This hill right up here is where I'm gonna put them. There is lots of open um, grass right in front of the boxes. And they have access to this huge field area where they like to feed. Okay, so with these posts that I'm setting up for the bluebird boxes, we are trying to get some eastern bluebirds or some tree swallow. They like to build their nests in protected areas. They normally nest within tree cavities. So a hole in a tree where there used to be a branch or a woodpecker made a hole. That's where they like to nest, but they can't always find a safe place to nest close to where they like to find food. So that is why we put out nest boxes. So I love Eastern Bluebirds. They are one of the most beautiful birds with a nice bright blue back and, a, and an orange, burnt orange chest. It's just beautiful. It looks like a robin. Now they are about the size in between a robin and a chickadee. They're right in between that size. A little bigger than a chickadee, but a little smaller than a robin. Now, what do bluebirds like to eat? In the spring and the summer, they like to eat caterpillars, crickets, grasshoppers, spiders. Doesn't sound like a great diet, does it? Yeah. But the bluebirds, they love it. Mm, 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 so mm, that's mm. why fields are such a great place because there's so many crickets and grasshoppers in the fields. So I'm gonna put two nest boxes close together. An Eastern Bluebird won't nest really close to another Eastern Bluebird. So if we wanna attract tree swallows, that means that the Bluebirds will leave one open for the tree swallows. So they share the space. I've been saying tree swallows. Do you guys know what a tree swallow is? Think of a fighter jet. An F-16, that's how fast and aerodynamic a tree swallow is. They fly around really low to the ground and they like to catch their prey in midair. And they like to eat all kinds of flies and beetles, uh, even small dragonflies they like to catch in the air. So these are the two birds that we're trying to attract. They're both very beautiful and they both need our help and your help. So thanks guys for painting these boxes Hooray! and joining in. 
So now I'm just about to go get all my safety gear on to put in these posts. Safety first. Got my helmet on and it's even got earplugs because when I hammer the post in, it's really loud. What? Good. I want it to be, oh, that's better. Now I can actually hear what I'm saying. I want it to be about six feet high. So I think that, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now for post number two. Okay, so we got two done. I'm gonna go and put a few more in. You guys probably have stuff to get back to. So I don't think your teacher wants me to take all your day up. In the next video, hopefully, I'll be showing you all the beautifully painted boxes from every school. I'm really excited to see what you guys have done. And I'm sure the bluebirds are excited to see what you guys have done. Until next time, I'll see you guys.